What's up, guys? This is Kyle from Never Hedge. I'm um, going to be doing a new segment with you guys. Uh, this is going to be a golfer profile. So we're going to go over a new golfer every week that's competing in the PGA tournament that week. Uh, we're going to try to pick golfers who you don't know too much about, um, especially with tournaments like this when the field is not the greatest. We want uh, engagement still to be great. And following on with golfers, some young up-and-comers who actually care about a tournament like this um, is very important. So uh, we're going to be going starting with John Pack. Uh, he went to Florida State. He's only 22 years old. Uh, he's from New Jersey. Uh, but after his freshman year of high school, he moved down to Florida where he was homeschooled uh, and focused solely on golf. Um, he then went to Florida State, which he said was a little bit of a culture shock after being um, homeschooled, uh, which I can't blame him, but he went on to have a ridiculous career at Florida State. He's one of the highest ranked golfers right now, uh, amateurs coming up. Um, he ended his FSU career with eight tournament wins, tying the program record with FSU alum Nolan Henke. Uh, he's FSU's career leader in scoring average with a 69.87. He it was a 2021 Jack Nicholas Award winner, and um, actually Brooks Kepka flew him out to receive that award, which was pretty cool. Brooks Kepka also a seminal. Uh, he was the first winner of the Ben Hogan Award in program history, the first winner of the Fred Haskins Award in program history, finished first in the PGA Tour University class rankings. The list goes on and on of his accomplishments, as you can see. Uh, quite an extensive list here at Florida State. Um, he finished as the low amateur at the 2020 U.S. Open held at Wingfoot. He finished tied for 51st uh, in that tournament, which is pretty damn impressive for a young kid like him uh, to go ahead and finish uh, and even make the cut. So... Pretty impressive kid, long, long list of accomplishments, as I said. Um, so in 2017, he started his career at Florida State. He was the 2018 ACC Freshman of the Year. Uh, his junior and senior years where everything really clicked, uh, as you can see. Um, here's his About Me page. He was a social science major. Uh, when I started playing golf, he said, I played my three brothers, and it was one of the things I enjoyed most growing up. That's how he fell in love with the game. Um, high school, he said he left from his family in New Jersey and moved to Florida with his dad, and that was to focus on golf. His favorite club is eight iron. He says he uses it in all his drills. It has a huge mark on it. Uh, loves hitting the eight iron. Um, he was quoted as saying about his overall strength that – uh, my overall game is very solid. Nothing is really, really good, and nothing is really, really bad. My misses are always very small, so I don't make a lot of big numbers. I'm very consistent. Uh, he loves hitting a draw. His average driving distance is 289 yards. He's a golfer who makes a few mistakes, uh, a new-age thinker of the game. Um, he really thinks he doesn't just go out there and hit the ball or rely on his caddy. Um, I think he's going to have a really long PGA career. Um, before I make any bets, whether this is MMA, golf, whatever it is, I like to do a little stalking on our golfers. So here is John Pack's Instagram page. This is his goodbye to Florida State, which he goes in detail talking about how it was a culture shock at first, and then he went on to have a great career and feels like he left – Florida State with a family. Another thing I like about his Instagram is it's all golf. So all golf pictures here. His number one focus, he was willing to leave his family behind to focus on golf. He's all in. Um, and I'm thinking he's going to be more of the Colin Morikawa, Victor Hovland type. I think he's going to come on the scene. I think he's going to make big splashes. This is his Twitter. Um He's not as active on Twitter. Um, but, yeah, I think he's going to make big splashes in the golf world. I really do. I um, hope we look back on this. This is our first golfer profile, and hopefully we picked a future champion. 
and maybe he'll finish highly this week. I'm throwing in some DraftKings lineups for sure. Um, so good luck, John Pack. All right, boys. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.